How would we find the Nyquist rate for a sync function? So say we had a sync function in the time domain. How would we find the Nyquist rate? So if we were to sample a sync function, how close do these samples need to be? So what we're after is the sample rate the minimum sample rate. So to find the minimum sample rate, we would know, need to know the bandwidth. So what's the bandwidth of a sync function? And to find that, we would need to find the sync function in the frequency domain. And to do that, we would need the Fourier transform. So what's the Fourier transform of a sync function? So to find that, we look no further than the Fourier pair. So this is a, a well-known Fourier pair that a sync function will give you a rect function in the frequency domain or a low-pass filter. And if you're not familiar with that, you will definitely have seen this. A rectangular function in the time domain will give you a sync function in the frequency domain. And then using the duality property, sorry, or the symmetry property, we can rewrite that as a sync function in the time domain will give you a rectangular function or a low pass filter in the frequency domain. Notice that we have a minus sign here, which doesn't really matter because the rect function is even, and we have a 2 pi here, which again doesn't really affect our question here. So, to find the Nyquist rate of a sync function, we need to express the sync function in the frequency domain. Now, we don't need to sketch, but I will add a little sketch here. So, the sync function can be expressed in the frequency domain like this. So, it's a rectangular function. And the important thing we need to find now is the bandwidth. So what's this value here? So to find that, we look at this here, omega over b. Uppercase b, so this would be b over 2, and this would be minus b over 2. So if these two form a Fourier pair, then to find the Nyquist rate, what we should be looking at is at b over 2, and then doubling that. So this is the bandwidth or the highest frequency in a sync function. And therefore, to find the Nyquist rate, or what I should call it actually isn't f, but omega, the Nyquist rate, is 2 times b over 2, which is b. And that will be in radians per second. So to find the Nyquist rate in hertz, that will be b divided by 2 pi, and that will be in hertz. So there you have your final answer. That's the Nyquist rate of a sync function.